What's up guys? Cheers! Coffee, car chat video. So, you know what that means? The girlfriend's in the in the, in the house right now. <laughs> it's her day out sleeping then, so, you know. Gotta let the girl rest. I wanted to like, not necessarily clear things up. Nothing is going bad. I mean like, god damn it, I'm having a blast doing this shit. Um, you know, when I started making these videos more consistently, you know, I just like, I, I, I reached the point, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna like, make the channel about me, because again, that's what the uh, YouTube is about, is about, right? You. To be myself through the internet and you watching it through your fucking end, right? On your uh, TV, I mean, or your monitor or phone or, or whatever device you're watching this video on. And like, uh, you know, I started doing that and like, uh, I've been learning a lot. And that's mainly the thing I wanted to experience is like learning things. Uh, the change of personality I've been developing, like the overall um, confidence I've been developing as I make more videos. You know, like the person I was when I started making videos is completely fucking different from what I am at the, this moment. And I'm very interested to see how things turn out, how I become uh, as I make these videos, right? Uh, as I mentioned before, since I started making these videos, I could definitely notice how I speak, you know, towards the camera. I feel more confident. I make Make less mistakes when I speak. Um, I definitely improved my appearance in the sense I started eating better, started going to the gym, um, you know, I started to like take care of myself better so I can appear better on camera, you know, those things I didn't really give a fuck about. Not because I didn't care about myself, it's just stuff that I didn't really pay too much attention to because I was focused on something else, but not because I see myself more through videos, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I can take a shower, fucking shave more, you know, lose some weight, you know, there's things I started to notice, right? Same thing with the way I dress, you know? I think about, oh, I want to get a better phone so I can record. That's another thing, like, um, my style of how I film, you know? I became um, a smartphone filmmaker. I'm okay with that. I'm not interested in getting a camera. I want to invest in, like, a better smartphone that gets better image, right? Stuff like that. So there's a lot of things about myself that I started to develop as I started making this content, and I'm very happy how things are going. Uh, um, another thing I wanted to do is basically be upfront with you with everything I'm learning, you know, and that goes with, you know, whether what it's like working with someone like Paul, uh, the software I use, you know, if I come across a problem, I make a tutorial and I share with you what my problem was and how I solved it. You know, trying to like help you guys if you guys come across that situation or whatever. Now, I made videos uh, showing you that I've been losing subscribers and also like my, uh, average view duration has been dipping right on certain videos right now when i made those videos uh there's a few things i kind of like wanted to bring up one like uh obviously i didn't notice a positive feedback or support like people were clicking the like button a lot you know also you know i have people like mention oh i'm gonna watch your videos more and stuff like that and you know i can see like there's uh almost like this support from you guys and i appreciate that right and <laughs> i can also from that i can see why there's some other youtubers that they always play like the pity party be like oh my god my life sucks yada yada because you know getting that feedback that response that boost of likes i mean i can see how some people can get addicted to that right um there's actually one movie on uh shutter uh the streaming app is called uh sissy i think it's called it's pretty good <laughs> it's about like a chick that she's like uh pretty psycho and she uses like social media to gain a boost of dopamine to make herself feel good and you know and it's a, it's a good movie i, I suggest that <laughs> they did a good job with that anyways uh the point i'm trying to get at is that like uh by me making these videos showing you how i've been losing subscribers and like uh by how like i've been losing subscribers and how like uh the average view duration of my, some of my videos have been declining um i didn't like post that necessarily to like gain sympathy or you know just make some like drama or anything like that basically i'm sh sharing that because you know uh, i expected this to happen and to be honest i actually kind of hoped <laughs> that was gonna happen and let me explain to you why now when i posted the video about me saying how i've been losing subscribers because you know for like the longest time i've mainly been making videos on tutorials right showing you how to do stuff i was aiming to be that channel mainly just doing tutorials right you know that kind of stuff so i started gaining subscribers through my old videos and you know i reached like the 2000 subscriber mark obviously you know a good chunk of that was like just you know me appearing on pause videos and stuff like that so people you know subscribe to my channel you know you know wanting to learn something or whatever so when i made the decision to start posting more videos consistently that was you know more than just uh tutorial videos you know me just talking you know vlogging you know going to events you know doing movie re reviews or whatever so all of a sudden like uh, that's completely different from people what well, they subscribed to originally and i've been 
and like getting people on unsus- subscribing. And to be honest, I'm okay with that. But the interesting thing about that is like, uh, there's been a few of you that left like a comment saying like, um, this is why other YouTube channels create a second channel to basically post their own personal stuff to separate from like their main content, right? That right there, I kind of like want to like talk about because I think that's something that's kind of like interesting to think about. Think about that right there. From this main product that I'm creating, let's just say me being a tutorial guy, I strictly make tutorials, right? That's a product in itself. Hey, that's you watching someone teaching you how to do something with whatever you want to see, whether it's a fucking, you know, how to cook or whatever. Now, if I wanted to post something else more that's about myself, I have to detach myself from my product and basically now I have to like focus on another channel to share more about myself, right? It's like, I don't know if you know what I'm getting at. The thing that I'm working towards, making, you know, tutorials and this and that, I have to completely detach myself from this thing to this thing, right? I cannot be over here together with my product, even though it's me making it. I have to like separate myself from like the product that I'm putting out, which is tutorials and make a separate channel so people can see more about, you know, who I am as a person, this and that. That to me, that right there is interesting, to be honest, right? And it's like, you know, if you think about all the shit you watch, you know, I've seen this firsthand when I go to these events, you know, uh, with these other YouTubers, it's like, you know, yeah, people like very tired and like, you know, they're not in the mood to talk or whatever, but like the moment they turn on the camera, it's like, sup guys, all right, we're here, CES or Computex or Taiwan or fucking, I don't know what else. Yeah, the moment the camera turns off, it's like, all right, was that good? All right, let's get to the room. You know, <laughs> like the attitude changes, right? Why? Because like that product that they're making, they're the individual. It's feeling, you know, like shit because they're tired from a, you know, 15 hour plane ride or whatever. But when the camera goes on, hey, here's the product. You know, this is what you see. Now, if I really wanted to like sell a product in the sense of like being a tutorial channel, then obviously I could have done things. I can do things very differently. Obviously, I can focus more on like, uh, say like update launches. You know, I can do reviews on what's going on with like DaVinci and shit like that. I can cuss less. I could definitely, you know, make the video look better by getting better proper equipment or whatever. I can definitely have like the videos be a specific length or whatever, add timelines, this and that. I can do all that, but I don't fucking want to, you know, mainly because for that reason, it's just like it's something that is very um, draining. I have to like completely separate myself to maintain this product, and even though like whatever the fuck I'm thinking or going through, it doesn't matter. Why? Because this is what I'm trying to fucking throw at you you know like that product and i just don't want to do that i made the choice when i started making more content where it's like you know what i'm just gonna like make the video about me and whoever wants to come and hang out you guys are more than welcome to right and like uh ever since i decided to make that choice one has been easier to make content two i've been getting way better response than i have been with my youtube channel and three i'm having way the fuck more fun you know, I'm very happy how things are going with my channel. Up to the point where my YouTube channel reached 2,000 subscribers, I rarely get like a donation, you know, when I make my tutorials, right? Stuff like that. And also I get very little, very little fucking interaction with people. When I start to make more consistent content, making live streams, responding to questions directly, you know, making video responses to topics and shit like that, being more out of the open of who I am, I've been getting way more comments. I've been getting more people interacting with me. And more people reach out to me and also I've been getting more people like helping me out in the sense of like giving me more tips through my videos and my tutorials when I make them. Even randomly be like, hey, I enjoy your topic. Here's five bucks. I've been getting more of that, right? And all that came from me just being more out in the open with who the fuck I am. Me actually genuinely giving a fuck who you are as a person, right? I do make it a fucking goal to get to know you, you know? Um, it's fun because at the moment, like for the most part, most of you guys are, yeah, I can recognize your handle names, right? I actually look at your names and I can tell the, I can remember, I can associate a personality with your handle name through YouTube. And I'm having a lot of fun with that, right? Even like uh, if you're a person that uses your real name, either way, I still like, can see a personality through that name and that's like the thing i'm aiming for right i want to build that and it's been working for me right yeah i've been like sharing like uh how my channel has been like losing subs and view counts and this and that but i'm not, i don't say it in a sense of like uh trying to get attention or pity or anything like that it's more about me sharing uh what's going on and what's happening and why right also like you know as a learning experience it's also to teach you what to expect if you're going to be if you want to do this kind of shit you know if you want to make your own content and also want to share with you that it's not that big of a deal it's fuck i've been I'm, 
at this moment, I've been unsubscribing to a lot of channels because when I actually went through uh, my subscriptions, you know, list, it turns out I was subscribed to almost like a thousand people. I was like, what the fuck? I don't watch this shit. If anything, I watch maybe two people the most, right? And that's another thing. Like, uh, as a viewer, depending on where I'm at in life and what my interest is at the moment, then that's where my attention is at. You know, when I was really into playing Apex, I was watching a lot of Apex content. When I was like really into learning how to cook, uh, say, Chinese food, I was watching a lot of Chinese food. I was working with a mechanic and I wanted to like learn more about like uh, how to work on cars. So I watched a lot of mechanic videos. Obviously, you know, I wanted to switch over to like using DaVinci. So I started watching a lot of DaVinci content. You know, it's just like depending on the personality, that's the shit I'm watching. So I don't take it too personal if people are not watching my channel. Because depending on what your situation is, uh, there could be comes to the time where like, you know, you're going to stop watching my content, not be necessarily because uh, you don't like my shit anymore. Just simply you moved on to something else and that's fine, dude. You know, it's going to happen, right? But I'm still going to keep up doing me, being consistent and like, you know, I'm more than happy to be here for you to come back whenever you can, you feel like it, you want to hang out or whatever. I just really want to be that environment uh, where people can come by and hang out and chill and just talk about something. You know, if you know you go on a trip for a week or so, you know, you want to come back to go to my live streams, you want to chat about, you know, whatever the fuck you did and I'll sit there and listen to you, you know, and that's mainly what the fuck I'm doing and actually it's working out for me very well and I'm happy to do so, right? So anyways, I'm going to end the video here because it's going on long enough, but if I share with you what's going on with my channel in the sense of, oh, I'm losing subscribers, I'm losing view counts, and this and that, and like I said, it's not because like I'm feeling bad about it. It's more of like uh, the learning experience of me, what I'm going through as I'm doing my YouTube stuff, right? And I'm sharing with you what I'm learning as I'm going through it, right? And uh, like I said, I'm not sad about it. If anything, I'm kind of like, okay, that is happening. Why do I want to keep subscribers that are not engaging? Why do I want to keep subscribers that don't want to like hear what I have to say? No, why do I want to keep subscribers that you know don't want to be a part of like my, my channel in the sense of like talking, you know, you know, hanging out or stuff like that, you know? I'll end the video with this. Again, this is just me and my personal experience on things. Uh when I started doing YouTube before I started, you know, uh, making content like I am at the moment, like I was really focused on trying to be a VFX artist, you know. I wanna be a big YouTuber, yada yada, you know, you little kid mentality shit right be famous and you get a bunch of views make money off the internet so on and so forth right so when i see my subscriber number go up you know when i started out you know when i reached 100 or 200 or whatever i got happy it's like oh shit it's going da, da, da. and then like when i see the number dip for whatever reason like there was like this dread like what the fuck uh, you know <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> uh, the thing is that like, uh, yeah, I don't want to have that fear of me not trying something new because it may cause people to unsubscribe. I don't want to have that. I don't want to have the fear of me like holding back on my own personal opinions on certain things because that could cause people to unsubscribe. I don't want to have the fear of not acting a certain way or acting a certain way because, you know, I want to like, you know, I, wanna, I don't want to have that fear of lo losing people. You know what I'm saying? So there's that thing where it's like people, I could be so fucking focused on the numbers of subscribers, me trying to live stream. Oh, people don't like the live streams, so they're going to subscribe. So now I'm fearful. Like, oh, I don't want to do live streams anymore. People don't like the way how I talk. I cuss a lot, so they're going to subscribe. So I don't want to be like, oh, shit, I'm not going to cuss anymore because I don't want to lose subscribers. Oh, I can't joke about titties and dicks and assholes or whatever. Oh, I'm not going to do that anymore because I can, you know, fuck that. <laughs> You know, I don't want to live like that on my channel and definitely by me being okay with that, people have been going away, but people have been coming also and people have been staying that appreciate that about me and I'm very happy how things are going. Like I said, I've been getting more interactions with you guys. I've been getting more subscribers that are, you know, dope as fuck that uh, I've been like actually getting to know people on a personal level. I've been getting more people stopping by and hanging out on my live streams and I've been getting also people like donating more money through my uh, tutorials and randomly giving me tips for through my you know Venmo or PayPal just because they appreciated what I do and that's been happening more as I've been more out in the open of who I am and just being okay with it right if you guys can take something from this it could be that it's okay to be yourself because then uh, after all that's basically what we watch youtube for or that's what i watch youtube for learning something from someone else appreciating the other person's individuality because you know that's something that's really cool about youtube overall is that individual aspect of it right yeah fuck it <laughs> that's just it it just you know i don't know what else to say this is joe this is me cussing cursing hanging out but you know my tensions are good. I want to teach everything I can. I want to make sure you guys succeed. Whatever you do, you guys have a buddy in me. You guys are more than welcome to stop by, hang out, talk to me if you want. I'm the guy that shows up and makes the inappropriate jokes and but tries to, but he does it in a kind heart because he wants to make you laugh. So I have to say, thank you guys so much. I really mean that, all right? Take care and peace.